We try to prove that there are infinite many primes in the form of 4n plus 3. All right, it's going to be another example of proof by contradiction. Assume there are only finite primes in that form, that is 4n plus 3. We can enumerate them all, right? Let's P, the set, represents all the possible finite number of primes in 4n plus 3. Now we're going to construct a new number. That's n equal 4 times all the multiplication of the prime numbers in that form minus 1. Now, first of all, we can draw a few conclusions about that. Now, notice that n, when you mod 4, is negative 1, which is equivalent to 3. So n is indeed is in the form of 4n plus 3. Now, of course, you notice that n does not belong to p, right? Because the way n is constructed is long of the prime numbers in the set. Now, since we say p contains all the primes in that form, n is in that form, so of course, n is not a prime, right? So n must be composite number based on our assumption. Now, of course, with that, let's consider n is a composite number. Let's consider the prime factor of n. So we can make a few claims about that also. All right. So first of all, n itself is in form of 4n plus 3. Right. So we claim that n must have at least one prime factor in the form of 4n plus 3. How do we show that? Again, by contradiction. If not, if n has all prime factor in the form of 4n plus 1. Notice that n here is odd number. It cannot be, you know, um, has a prime of 2. So all the prime factor must be an odd number. So either 4n plus 1 or 4n plus 3. Now assume all of them are 4n plus 1. What do we get? If you multiply all of them together, there must be also 4n plus 1, right? So in other words, n must be 4n plus 1. That is a contradiction because we assume n in that form, we have shown that n mod 4 is 3, right? So n is in form of 4n plus 3. So claim 1 saying that n must have at least one factor that is in form of 4n plus 3. Now claim number 2 is that n cannot contain any prime factor from the set P. In other words, all the PI, P1, P2, up to PN, cannot be a prime factor. Why? Because if they are a few factors, like for example, if PI divides N, because PI is in the form of 4, P1, P2, PN, so we know that uh, uh, by the way N is constructed, number 1 must also, you know, the PI must also divide number 1, which is not possible. That's a contradiction. So based on these two facts, right, so we have to say that if N is composite, N must contain at least one prime factor Q. Q is a prime factor. And Q does not belong to P. In other words, we discover a new prime in the form of 4n plus 3, which is a contradiction to the fact that we assume the such primes are finite and then in the set P enumerate them all, right? So we have the proof. All right, this proof is first similar to the Euclidean's proof about um, their infinite number and prime numbers, right? It's, it's kind of a, a similar uh, a proof technique in which is proof by contradiction. Alright, hope you like the video and please share and subscribe.